Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the lung volumes and capacities. The lung volumes refer to the volumes of air which are associated with different phases of the respiratory cycle. These volumes can be directly measured. The lung capacities can be inferred from the lung volumes. There are five types of measurable lung volumes. The resting tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, the residual volume and the minimal volume. The resting tidal volume is the amount of air that moves into or out of the lungs during a single quite normal breathing. It averages about 500 milliliter in human male and female both. Yani ye wo hamara normal respiratory cycle hai jisme 500 ml air in ya out hoti hai ek breathing cycle mein. Now we shall discuss the inspiratory reserve volume which is the amount of air which can be inhaled by maximum inspiratory effort. Jo haam pura zor laga ke maximum air andar leke ja sakte hain wo inspiratory reserve volume hai. On average agar haam dekhe to lungs of males are larger than females. So the inspiratory reserve volume of males is greater and average is about 3300 milliliter. Jabke females mein ye volume 1900 ml hota hai. Now we shall discuss the expiratory reserve volume which refers to the amount of air which can be voluntarily expelled out after the tidal volume by maximum respiratory effort. Ek normal breathing ke dhiriye air bahe nikal gai, uske baad joh hum maximum effort karke mazeed air nikal sakte hain, that is expiratory reserve volume. A male can forcefully expel additional 1000 ml air by use of accessory muscles, while in females this amount is about 700 milliliters. The residual volume is the amount of air that still remains in the lungs even after maximum exhalation. It is about 1200 ml in males and 1100 milliliters in females. A component of residual volume is the minimal volume. This is the amount of air that still remains in the lungs when they fully collapse. Jab lungs bilkul collapse kar jayen, dead man ke andar. So this volume ranges about 30 to 120 milliliters. Unlike other volumes, it cannot be measured in a healthy living person. Now we shall discuss the lung capacities which are calculated by adding the values of various lung volumes. These include inspiratory capacity, functional residual capacity, vital capacity and total lung capacity. The inspiratory capacity is calculated by adding the total, uh, the tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume. It refers to the amount of air that can be drawn into the lungs after a complete respiratory cycle. The functional residual volume uh, capacity can be calculated by adding expiratory reserve volume and residual volume. It refers to the amount of air which remains in the lungs after a complete respiratory cycle. 
vital capacity refers to the maximum amount of air which can be moved into or out of the lungs in a single respiratory cycle. It is calculated by adding expiratory reserve volume, tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume. This overall amount banti hai that averages about 4800 milliliter in males and 3400 milliliters in human females. Dear students, the total lung capacity refers to the total volume of the lungs. It is calculated by adding the vital capacity and residual volume. The total lung capacity in males averages about 6000 ml in human males and 4200 ml in human females.